morning, guys. <laughs> Another glorious day. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Guys, I know it's been a little while, as always. I tell you guys, I'm going to try to get out here and do a little bit more fishing. And then work always takes over. But, you know, I believe in God that I'll be able to soon be a full-time YouTuber and just be able to bless you guys with content and video footage. But nonetheless, I hope everybody's been doing good. Hope you guys have been staying prayed up, staying fighting a good fight of faith. So, I'm out here for the first time on the kayak, on the coast now, uh, saltwater fishing. I was thinking the last time I took my yak out, I was uh, crappy fishing, but today I'm going for some sheep's head, I'm going for some black drum, I'm going for puppy drum, I'm going for whatever bike. <laughs> um, I'm happy to be out here, it's a blessing to be out here, to be able to, you know, come on the water and share footage with you guys, and, you know, be in your atmosphere, and we all fellowship together. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, guys, and uh, nonetheless, um, a little bit of everything today. Uh, Fiddler crab, got some goat. Uh, no, no goat, no goat. Only Z man. <laughs> but I got a mixture of everything. So uh, I ain't gonna do too much talking. Like I said, y'all, let's go to work. All right, guys. So uh, I'm gonna try a little something different with my camera today. I don't know how good it's gonna do. I ended up leaving one of my uh, my main stand home, man. So either way, uh, today my setup is real sim simple. I'm using, for my sheep's head, I'm using a Berkeley lightning rod. Uh, this is a medium heavy action, seven foot. I like using seven foot pole when I'm uh, fishing the sheep head because whenever I'm going to a, a, a pile on or if I'm going to a uh, channel marker or a bridge pile, that extension allows me to get further away without spooking them. Similar to crappy fishing, uh, where you know you have the 10 foot pole, you don't, I try not to spook the area too much. So uh, my, my, my uh, line is 20 pound, wait a minute. I think this is 30 pound Power Pro. Uh, topped off with a, uh, topped off with about a 30 pound monofilament. And this here is just a simple bottom sweeper. And I like that color, that's a brown. Similar to what a Fiddler Crab looks like. The brown and the purples for me tend to work the best. That's just me. But uh, I'm gonna put a Fiddler Crab on this bad boy. Couldn't really get any mud crabs, high ties in. I'm gonna, get some, I'm gonna put a mud, uh, Fiddler Crab over here. See if we can't go get us one. Let's see if we got a sheep's head down here. No, that wasn't a fish. I don't think we've got anything on this one. Nah, it's cool though. We'll go to another. Try this power on here. Yeah. I promise I think I just had a hit. But it's okay. You gotta work with what you got, fisherman. This water's so clear, man. It's probably gonna be better to go deeper. There he is. There he is. I don't think it's a sheep there though. Probably a sea crab. I mean, sea bass. Yep. Oh, sea bass. Oh, yeah, a bunch of sea bass down there, man. If they have some size to them, they'll be good, but you ain't got no size to them. Get out of here. See right here? All that activity. Those are sea bass. No big, big marks signifying a big sheep's head, so they don't need me sitting here trying to let them, uh, take my bait so we're gonna move on keep going until we find them. so something stole my bait just that quick i don't know what it was man but uh these are just basically sea urchins and what i like to do is just cut the edges off of them these things have been you can go on any pylon or uh dock bridge wherever it is underwater structure and pick these bad boys up they're abundant down here in moorhead city you know, you just look in the water and look for that coloration, and all they gotta do is just clip all these off. And... What he be doing is cheap. That's what he be doing. Yo, you know, let me tell y'all something. Okay. Okay. I'm about to say this joke pulled up right behind me. <laughs> I forgot I didn't even hang up the phone. Boy, y'all see what I'm dealing with? <laughs> That's for sure gonna be an outtake. <laughs> oh, snap. Uh, all right, let me see what I got. Let's see, guys, let's see. So 
don't know, something down there took it a few minutes ago, so I know it's something that back here. Let me get deeper in that pocket. All right, guys, so it's been pretty slow as of right now. Shoe bed bite wasn't all that. Uh, caught like a few small, but it was nothing worth recording. I'm gonna head to some sloughs and uh, try to get on some redfish. Let's go. Bro, I wish I'd have worn my big hat, but I couldn't come a dang strap. I ain't have my strap with me, man. Which one? The strap to go around your head so you can change your hats. I got, I got one. I got my big hat. I'm gonna have to get me one, bro. Got that big hat. Yeah, right off that point. Yeah, right off that point. Really? Probably saying. I don't know. Now that might have been a. That might have been a bull. Bull shark. Got some long guys trolling. Hey Neptune, a uh, flounder. <laughs> Can't do nothing with them guys. Nice one though. Nice one though. So guys, I was on the way to hit these sloughs and I found this area with uh, a lot of oysters and everything. So you guys know what I'm getting ready to do. We're going to get us some mud crabs. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Spanish horses. Hopefully we'll get us a few. Yeah, you know I'm looking. I pulled mine up. Uh, I'm to... No! <laughs> boy, you stupid. <laughs> boy, that hurt too, boy. I'm gonna tell you. Ah, I just hooked up with a nice one. Neptune. Got a nice one, guys. This is a nice one. This one's a nice one. Bro, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. Mm. Mm. This is a nice one. That's what them mud crabs do for you. Crank, yeah. Oh, it's a drum. Got 
Got a little bit of overcast now, tires moving out, so may get lucky. Don't know. Gotta be careful so I don't hit those two Suzuki four strokes. Definitely one down there. Tell you, boy, these mud crabs do the ticket. They are the ticket, guys. And I don't know what it is about these things that drive sheet head so crazy. Sheet head and all the others. I don't know if it's the, it could, it could be the content of the mud. I, I don't know, but man, it's a big difference from using these and fiddler crabs. Fiddler crabs will work. These mud crabs, man, it has to be a scent content that just drives these fish crazy. And it's like the ones you catch are always nice ones. Always nice ones. There he is. 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 Oh, I'll give him one of the mud crab, mud crab, mud crab. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, big guy. Calm down. Calm down. You pretty much caught right about now. Jeez. Jeez. That's a good one. That's a oh. I gotta get away from the power off. It's trying to blow me in. That's a good one, guys. That's a horse. That's a nice one. Tell you guys the difference that mud crabs have on a, with a fish, particularly the sheep's head. You know, we, we fished all this morning, fiddler crabs, and didn't do anything, man. But as soon as we got some mud crabs, that fourth of July, baby, fourth of July. That's a horse sheep head. That's a horse. Horse sheep's head. Awesome. Nice. That's ah, going in the cooler. I don't know how much he's going to weigh, but that's a house. All right, Fish King fans, get ready to head in. Had a good day, man. It's hot as crap, man. Uh, decent day. Had some action. Uh, once we got the mud crabs, we really got into the fish. It was a pretty good day. Can't complain. It's good to be out here in the water again. Do what we do with me and my man Big Neptune right there. Oh boy, that's my boy right there, man. But uh, we had a good day, every day, man. Uh, we're getting ready to head in. It's hot as crap, yo. Uh, whew. Go get me a Red Bull, man. I need it right now. Either way, good day. At least I was able to get you guys some footage, man. Um, mud crabs with a ticket today, man. Mud crabs, they, they produce really well, really well. I mean, it's, it's like night and day between fiddler crabs and everything else. And I mean, you guys want the secret of catching more sheep head, I'm telling you, get you some mud crabs. Uh, but nonetheless, the mud crabs did the trick, man. Uh, uh, my man Neptune, he did catch a, he caught a 22 inch Kobe on the mud, on a uh, mud minnow, so that was that was different. Some, you know, <laughs> I've never seen done before in this part, you know, this close in, but pretty sure you guys might have, but nonetheless, man, epic day. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get you guys some more footage coming out, man. But uh, until next time, man, you guys, you know, uh, continue to stay prayed up, continue to stay faithful, man. Um, every day ain't always perfect, but every day is worth living. You always know that. I mean, look, 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 somebody, as I have been saying many times before, somebody always has it worse than us. So let's be thankful in our state of being that no matter where we are, no matter what we're going through, God is faithful. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Always remember that, you know. Uh, you, you have to go through to get to. You follow me? So continue going through it. And, and, and if you, you're going through persecution, you know, you're going through trials and tribulations right now. If, if, if God is victorious and God has already given you the victory, then if you've been chosen for a battle, then that means you've been chosen for a breakthrough because the vi victory belongs to the Father already. So he's already won. So you just need to set yourself up for that breakthrough that's coming. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I'm praying for y'all, man. Y'all stay good. Love you guys. Until next time. See if I can. Ah. Tight lines. Man, it's so hot out here. Stay blessed. Jesus Christ.